Chris here, Learn to Craft. I am going to show you today how to use font glyphs in Silhouette Studio on a Mac. So this is incredibly easy, um, but a super important skill set to have to move forward with learning how to build your own designs. So let's go ahead and get started. If this video is of interest to you, like the video, but also subscribe to my channel. Uh, when you're subscribed, you'll get notification when the new videos come out, probably, you know, once or twice a week or so. Um, lots of neat ways to just craft better, whether it be projects and techniques or um, learning how to design for yourself, which is, you know, a really neat way to move forward in this craft. So make sure you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when the, vid when the new videos come out. Um, this coming week, I have a fantastic series on designing coming out. You're not going to want to miss that. So let's get going here. This is super easy. Um, one other thing I do want to mention real quick is that I'm going to, in the video description underneath the video, there's a drop down. You can click on the arrow. It'll expand. I'm going to link in there. First off, I'll link this font. You can see it's absolutely beautiful. I just got it recently and I just love it. So I'm going to link this font in the description. I'm also going to link our Facebook group. Uh, we have a collaborative of about 2 million members, uh, every craft you can imagine. I'm going to link Cricut and Silhouette for Beginners. It's about 200,000 members, super friendly, super helpful, knowledgeable. Um, you'll fit right in there. It's a great community. You want to be a part of it. So I'll link that in the description. Join us there. And now let's get started. So there's two different things that we're going to learn here. Okay. So if you are using basic edition, there's one way you handle font glyphs. If you're using designer edition or business edition, there's a glyph panel built right into Silhouette Studio, uh, which makes it incredibly easy. Either way, it's easy, but it's just even a little bit easier if you have designer or business edition. So, um, Let's let's start there. Let's start with um, the easiest part. One other thing real quick is that if you do not know how to download and install external fonts, I'm going to link a video in the description that will show you how. It's literally like two clicks. It's super duper easy. So um, if you don't know how, that video will be in the video description, this video description for you. So we're going to turn this into this, okay? So you can see over here, so when you... you Click your text over here and then go over to your um, your font panel over here and it's going to come up like this and then in this middle right here you see that G, click on the G, that's your glyph panel. So you can make it a little bit larger or smaller however you want, whatever makes it easiest for you. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for this S. I know that's down at the bottom down here. I know this font like the back of my hand now. I've been using it for almost, almost exclusively for like two weeks since I got it. I just love it. And so something else I want to mention. Okay, so let me just show you what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm going to click into my word and I'm going to get rid of that S and then I'm going to go over to my glyph panel, single click it. That's it. That's all you have to do to use glyphs in designer or business edition. Um, next thing we're going to change out is the B. So but what I was going to say is that you can see here that I have done this one way, but there's so many glyphs. Look at how many options there are for each letter in this alphabet so or in this font. So you can, just because I made it this way, does not mean that that is how you're going to have to make this this name look. Um, that's the beauty of glyphs is that it, you're, you're, it's like building a dollhouse. You take your base and then you're building on that. So... It's a lot of fun. Font work is probably one of my favorite parts of this craft. So let's find that B. There it is right there. Click on that. And the last one is the N. So we'll get rid of that. And then scroll down to the ends. Something that you'll notice is that um, some font designers will, like this font designer, this is one of my favorite designers. He's fantastic. He's a ton of good ones. Uh, but you'll see how he links all of his F's together in the glyph panel. So each of, all of the options for each letter other than uh, capitals and lowercase, those are separate. But all of the lowercase F's are together and all of the lowercase G's are together. Some designers do it differently where they'll put all of the ones with, you know, this type of glyph on it, 
that whole alphabet together. So you'll kind of get a feel for, for how different designers organize their glyphs. I prefer this way. And then your N is right there. And that's it. That is literally all there is to glyphs on designer or business edition. Okay. So now I'm going to show you if you have basic edition and you do not have that glyph panel. Now I'm going to show you that. So in case you don't already know this, this name right here, it's beautiful. It's, it's the way you say it is Siobhan. It's, um, an Irish name and it's like my favorite name in the whole world. <laughs> You'll see it all the time when I'm designing. Um, so, okay, so let's get to work. So what you're going to do in basic edition is you're going to first go command space bar. That's going to bring up quick. That's going to bring up, um, I'm not sure what this is called, but like your search. And then you're going to type in font book. Okay. And that's going to bring up your font book. And now you're going to scroll down to the font that you have selected. So in this case, it's already selected. Sweep a hoe. And then over here, this is your glyph selector. So, oops. So again, you, that's where you can um, change the size so that you can either have um, larger letters that are easier to see or smaller letters that you can move more quickly so you're not scrolling forever. So let's grab that S. Okay, click it, and now what you want to do is you want to click Control, or I'm sorry, Command C. Okay, and go back over here. Same thing. Get rid of that S, and now Command V, like Victor. Okay, now go back over to your font book, and we'll grab that B. Oops. Ha! <laughs> I keep doing the wrong thing. I'm not. I've been going back and forth for two days. I've been going back and forth between um, PC and Mac and iOS to get all these videos made and Android. And it's just, they're, everything is different and backwards on Mac to a PC. So what were we doing? We're doing the B or the um, B. Okay, so. Where's the B? Select, Command, C. Get rid of your B, command V like Victor. So that's command C like cat and then command V like Victor. Okay, and then get rid of that. Go back to font book and go to the ends. And that control, command C, command V like Victor. Oops. That was only one. So you can see when you when you're not um, on your name, that's what happens. It just pastes it. So Command V like Victor. So that's it. So that is all there is to it. Um, you know, like I said, make sure you do like the, like the video. Um, that helps our channel. But also subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll get a notification of the new videos. You do not want to miss a design tutorial coming up. Um, actually, it's a whole series of design tutorials. Uh, but, I mean, that's it. If you have any questions at all, you can ask them in the video below. Or, um, better yet, approach me in the group. I'm, I'm always in the group. So, uh, you're welcome to come to me with any questions you may have. I'm always happy to help. So, that's it. I hope you have a good day. Bye.